The Man Who Lost Himself, by Henry de Vere Stackpole is a fascinating exploration of identity, social class, and the human condition, woven into an engaging narrative that combines elements of comedy, drama, and romance. The story follows the protagonist, John Barrington Cowles, an American who finds himself in a bewildering situation when he travels to England and encounters a man who looks exactly like him, but is living a vastly different life. The narrative kicks off with the protagonist, a down-and-out American named John Barrington, arriving in London. There, he meets his doppelganger, the wealthy Englishman, Victor Jones. This chance meeting sets off a series of events that lead Barrington to assume Jones's identity after the latter's sudden death. What follows is a rich and intricate exploration of what it means to step into someone else's life, with all its accompanying privileges and challenges. One of the key themes of the novel is the idea of identity and the fluidity thereof. By assuming Jones's identity, Barrington is thrust into a life of wealth and privilege, a stark contrast to his previous existence. This shift allows Stackpole to delve into the social structures of early 20th century England, critiquing the rigid class distinctions and highlighting the arbitrariness of such societal divisions. Through Barrington's eyes, the reader gains a unique perspective on the superficial nature of social status and the often arbitrary basis for one's place in society. Stackpole uses humor and irony to underscore the absurdity of the protagonist's new life. Barrington's attempts to navigate the complexities of Jones's relationships and obligations provide a comedic element that is both entertaining and thought-provoking. The protagonist's awkward encounters and blunders serve to emphasize the notion that social status and competence are not necessarily linked, and that an individual's inherent qualities are not dictated by their societal position. Despite the humorous undertones, the novel does not shy away from addressing deeper, more serious issues. The question of personal integrity is central to Barrington's journey. As he becomes more entrenched in Jones's life, he grapples with the moral implications of his deception. This internal conflict adds a layer of complexity to the narrative, prompting the reader to consider the ethical dimensions of Barrington's actions. His struggle with maintaining his own identity while living another man's life raises questions about authenticity and the sacrifices one might make for comfort and security. The romantic subplot between Barrington and Helen, Jones's fiancée, adds an additional dimension to the story. Their relationship is complicated by Barrington's secret and the emotional turmoil that comes with it. Stackpole skillfully portrays the tension between them, creating a compelling dynamic that drives much of the novel's emotional depth. Helen's character, too, is well-developed, serving as both a romantic interest and a moral compass for Barrington. Her presence forces him to confront the consequences of his actions and ultimately influences his decisions. Stackpole's writing is characterized by its vivid descriptions and engaging prose. He brings early 20th century England to life with meticulous detail, from the bustling streets of London to the opulent interiors of Jones's home. This rich backdrop enhances the reader's immersion in the story and provides a vivid contrast to Barrington's previous life in America. The setting itself becomes a character, influencing the plot and the protagonist's experiences. In conclusion, The Man Who Lost Himself is a multifaceted novel that blends humor, drama, and romance to explore themes of identity, social class, and personal integrity. Stackpole's masterful storytelling and keen social observations make for a compelling read that is both entertaining and thought-provoking. Through the protagonist's journey, the novel challenges readers to reflect on the nature of identity and the societal constructs that shape our lives, ultimately offering a poignant commentary on the human condition.